Lactantius, Epitome of the Divine Institutes, Episode 31 Hermes, qui ab ortutem multardrumque artium scientiam tris magistis merdruit nominari, qui et doctrinae vetustate philosophos antecessit, quique apud Aegyptios ut deus colitur, maestatem dei singularis infinitis ad ferdrens laudibus, dominum et patrem nuncupat, eumque esse sine nomine, quod proprio vocabulo non indigeat, quia solus sit, nec haberdre ulos pardrentes, quia exe et per se ipsa sit. Now, Lactantius is going to cite another individual, the famous Hermes Trismegistus, or three times great Hermes. This particular individual has a very interesting history, and you ought to do yourself a favor and go look him up in the Wikipedia entry. I don't have time now to explain everything about him, but he's a mythological character thought to have been either contemporary with or prior to Moses. But in the Renaissance, the famous Isaac Casabon proved that the writings attributed to Hermes Trismegistus were actually forgeries. So Lactantius says, Hermes, who, on account of his virtue and his knowledge scientiam of many arts, multardrum artium, deserved to be called Trismegistus, or three times great. So thus far we have had the subject, Hermes, and we have had lots of modification with this qui clause. Now we'll have more modification, qui, who also, in the antiquity of his learning, comes before or predates, antecessit, the philosophers, that's the second modification, and, qua, here's the third modification, and who, among the Egyptians, is worshipped, colitur, as a god, there's the third modification, this Hermes, Maestatem Dei Singularis, the majesty of the sole God, the unique God, infinitis laudibus, with infinite praises, asserting that, at Ferenes, what does he do? He calls him, Nuncapat, Lord and Father. So to look at the structure thus far, we have Hermes, then we have the main verb, Nuncapat, we have at Ferenes, so Hermes is masculine singular, and nominative, it's the main subject of this long sentence. Adferens is also masculine, singular, and nominative. It's a present participle in the active voice. It's modifying Hermes. What was Hermes doing? He was asserting or maintaining. What was he maintaining? The maestatem. There's our object, feminine, singular, and accusative. It's the object of the participle. He was maintaining the majesty, dei singularis. This is masculine singular and genitive, of the sole God, the unique God. And how was he maintaining that majesty? Infinitis laudibus. So infinitis laudibus, feminine, plural, and an ablative of instrument. So what did Hermes do? He nuncupat. Now this verb nuncupare is a first conjugation verb, and it is a synonym of vocare, to call, or apelare, both are first conjugation, apelar, that it means to call by name. What did he call him? He called him dominum et patrem, lord and father. And both dominum and patrem are masculine, singular, and accusative. They are the objects of the main verb of the sentence, nuncupat. Now we're going to have some more information before we get to the end of the sentence. And, que, now we have what is implied as indirect speech, or ratio obliqua. He called him that, and he asserted, so perhaps we take it as coming from ad ferdrens, or perhaps we understand something like dixit being implicit. I don't think it matters which way we choose to take this. And he said that he, meaning the Lord and Father, Dominum et Patrem, was esse sine nomine, without a title. Why? Quote, because he did not need, known in digeat, a specific or proper name, proprio vocabulo. So what we have here, indigeat, like so, is from the second conjugation verb, indigeo, indigere, which means to lack, and notice it takes the ablative. So proprio vocabulo, 
neuter, singular, and ablative. And it's going to be an ablative of instrument again, that is to lack by means of, in a similar way as carere works. Because he does not need, or he has no need of, a proper name, because quia solusit, he is the sole god, nec, and he does not have, nec habere, ulos parentes. Why? Because, quia, he is, sit, exe et per se, ipse. So ipse, masculine, singular, and nominative, because he is, in and of himself, ipse, both from himself, exe, and through himself. It is beautiful, lucid, complicated sentences like this that led the Renaissance scholar Pico della Mirandola to refer to Lactantius as the Cicero Christianus, the Christian Cicero. This is truly a beautiful sentence, and one ought to study it in order to improve one's Latin. Hermes, who, uh, sorry, we have three here, qui through nominari, qui through antecesit, qui through colatur, Hermes, asserting the majesty of the unique God with infinite praises, called him nuncupat dominum et patrem, and asserted that he was without a name. Quod proprio vocabulo non indigeat, because he did not need a name, since he was uh, unique unto himself solus, and he asserted, so notice how eumque esse has its parallel with nec habere, and he asserted that he does not have any parents, ulos parentes. Why? Quia, sit, exe, et per se, and then ipse in the nominative. There's a lot of parallelism in these final clauses. I didn't develop all of it for the interests of time, but the student ought to do so. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash latinperdium. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.